Shout out to Black Phoenix for tagging me in this story on Twitter. And it has been a while since I did a Strag Tales DNU mashup. And this one right here is more than deserving of it. And I'm sure you can tell just by looking at the picture what unfortunate direction I'm headed to with this story. So in this picture, you see three people. On the far left is a little boy by the name of Kamari or Kamer Marshall. On the um, right, starting at the, um, well, let me start at the bottom. Her, um, this woman's name is Andrea Lipton, Lipton. And above her is her boyfriend by the name of Anthony Love. The little boy was three. She's 28 and he is 32, the, the guy. And another one of those stories where you have a woman who was an unfit mother and did not deserve to be a parent whatsoever. So this boy was her child. That was, you know, that's her child. Now, this guy is not the father to this boy. And this boy was beaten to death by the boyfriend while his mother, his own mother, watched it happen and watched this boy pretty much bleed to death. Didn't call for any type of medical attention or anything she let this man who is not the dad even if he was the dad is still heinous beat her own boy to death i don't know what the motive was because i have not read the article yet this is a story that actually came out late last month and i'm just now hearing about it but i'm gonna get into it a mother did not seek medical help for her infant son as he bled to death following multiple beatings by her boyfriend. Andrea Lipton, age 28, was arrested and charged with second degree manslaughter on Tuesday, about one month after her son Kamari or Kamer Marshall, age three, died. Lipton's arrest came two days after authorities arrested her live-in boyfriend, 32 year old Anthony Love, on second degree murder and first degree manslaughter charges in the case. Love, who is currently on parole from a robbery conviction. See, look, look at what elements she brought around her child. Was accused of physically abusing Marshall while acting as the boy's caregiver. Police said they received a report about a child not breathing in Rochester, New York, in the early morning hours of July 11th. Upon arrival, officers found the child unconscious on the floor. He was given CPR and rushed to a local hospital where he died three days later. The child reportedly suffered numerous physical injuries, including a ruptured spleen and pelvic fractures that went untreated by medical professionals. Court documents obtained by the news agency alleged that Marshall's injuries prevented him from walking and obviously required medical attention. The boy subsequently suffered blood loss as a result of his injuries and went into cardiac arrest. Talk, listen to the trauma that was inflicted onto this three-year-old. It was no way he was going to survive that. Shoot, it's people who older than him that could go through that same kind of trauma who wouldn't survive that either. And she allowed it to actually happen. He act, he he did the physical part and she allowed it to happen. Like I said, both of them are trash. And they should be treated as such the minute they get into whatever prison they put them in. Because that's I'm almost certain that's what where, where they're headed. They should head somewhere else, but I don't know if New York honors capital punishment. Lipton allegedly failed to seek medical a treatment for her son, knowing that he was in pain and in need of, of said medical treatment for these injuries. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the Cynthia Baker, Richard Roundtree, a.k.a. the sperm donor, but in reverse. You know how with him, he was the one that brought his child, his biological child his daughter reek around tree to that bad element and she beat him to death while he watched he actually ate it in some of it but more so watched, and she did most of the physical beating this is in reverse because she's the biological mother to this boy and she brought this bad element back around her child and let this man beat on her child her child that she had with another man now i am curious where is the biological father of this boy and have they reached out to him yet because i'm gonna tell you like this if I was the biological father of this boy and I found out what his mother did and what this other guy did, they wouldn't make it to prison. I'm going to just leave it at that. Those injuries ultimately led to Marshall's death. 
The precise circumstances of the little boy's death are not yet known, but there were many red flags that showed how Marshall was not safe in the home. Lipton has another son with a former partner by the name of Elliot Morris, who filed a petition with Child Protective Services after his son, Blessing, suffered a black eye while he was living with Lipton. So this woman literally, clearly is an unfit parent. And I hate that I even have to call her or give her that title. Did you hear that? She had another child with another man. And while that child was in her care, if you want to call it care, was being abused as well. But see, this goes back to how this establishment is ran and caters to women and saying that they're the best fit parent for these children. And in this case, she definitely wasn't because you had one child that was being abused with a black eye and now you have another one that was being abused and is now dead and notice they said in the article they said that she had a child with this man who i want to know is he the same father to this boy as well or was she had did she have a child with another did she have this child with another man which sounds like to me this woman was willing to spread her legs to any and every man that was willing to look or breathe in her direction I'm almost surprised she didn't have a child with the guy that was the abuser. Morris was able to remove his son from Lipton's home, but said he was worried about Marshall and wished that he could have done more to protect the boy's safety. It's devastating. My son is so young and his brother is gone. Morris told local media WHAM. He asked about him and it's hard to tell him. Both Lipton and Love are being held in the Monroe County Jail. No bail has been set for Love while Lipton's was set at $10,000 cash or a $20,000 bond. She doesn't need a bond. Neither of them do. And especially one not that low. Lipton is scheduled to be back in court on August 24th at 1.30 p.m. In a statement obtained by WHAM, Marshall's family wants Marshall to be remembered as a happy child who loved to la- who laughed often, loved Paw Patrol, and enjoyed doing a ninja spin move he created while watching the Power Rangers. So I went and looked to see what was any updates that it came from the story since the story was posted on April twenty was it April twenty fourth, I believe it is. I think that's when the story was April twenty first, I'm sorry. And the only thing that really has come from it, because it hasn't really been any updates, is that she and this, both these trashy people in this picture, minus the little boy, uh, both pled not guilty. He doesn't have a bond. She shouldn't have a bond, even though they gave her one. And they basically are trying to say, they're trying to, might try to see if they can take this to a grand jury, but they say they might not even need to do a preliminary hearing. They said, let's just bypass all that and just get this thing over with. So it sounds like to me, they just trying to get them up in jail, no matter what. And to be honest, I say, do away with them. They are definitely a part of the two thirds that we do not support and we do not need. Like she it has proven time and time again that she's a bad, a bad so-called mother. The person she laid up with is just a bad stain on society. And she chose to lay up with that dude. Like that's who she chose to be with and knowing his background and allowed that element to come into her life and then brought it into her son's life. Both of her children. Luckily, one of them is still alive, but unfortunately, the other one is not. He 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 will be eternally three years old. He will never really get, he'll never get to experience life. He probably doesn't even know why what was going on, what was happening to him. And I'm looking at it and I said, what was the motive behind it? But they didn't say what the motive was. And to just chalk it up, she's just she was just a bad parent. She was she didn't deserve to be a mother. She didn't deserve to have children. Point blank period well i hope the both of them get exactly what they deserve but i hope they don't be lenient on her just because she was a quote-unquote mother or she didn't actually physically touch the boy as far as we know she allowed it to happen she's just as bad and has just as much blame as the guy that did this to this boy because as a mother she should have been there protecting her child and not allowing something like that to be around her child. It almost scares me to ask, but I'm going to ask it anyway. I wonder what else did they do to this boy? Because I'm willing to be- to bet that this was not the first time that he was being abused. 
like usually abuse happens in stages. It starts off slow and then it, it, it accelerates and leads up to that. That's what happened with Rika Roundtree. It was in stages before she was actually killed. So I could only I couldn't even imagine what this boy was going through. Like he probably didn't know what was going on. But like I said, I don't know if his biological father is the same guy as the one who had a son with her. The one that was talking about the that about his brother won't see his little brother anymore. So if the biological father is out there, he needs to say or in my in what I would do, do something. I don't care what it would take. I would have listen. I would have to catch the charge that day because I. Listen, they would not get to that prison without me going a few rounds with both of them. I don't care if it's even at the same time. But I do offer my condolences to anyone connected to this boy who is not his uh, womb carrier and the live in uh, hobosexual that she was laid up with. But. Y'all just let me know what y'all think down in the comments.